Today we're at the Los Angeles Auto Show. So much to see here. You can spend a week looking for your favorite car. Last thing you need is another English guy droning on about cars, so we're gonna make this a quick ride. Ready? Let's go. Tell me about the magic of the Aston Martin. I mean, one of the coolest things about Aston is that they really are completely handmade. You, know, you open up the door, you look down at the sill plaque, it says hand built in England. And it really is. There's, there's literally two robots in the factory. The paint is done by hand, the leather is cut by hand, it's stitched by hand, the engine is built by hand, there's a plaque with the man's name that assembled your engine, <laughs> and nobody really does it to the same hand-built level that Aston does it. Right. So tell us about the new models that you're launching. The biggest thing this year is that the, uh, the Rapid S and the Vanquish both get a new 8-speed gearbox, and okay. the gearbox alone adds almost 20 miles an hour to the top so speed. How, so how fast does this one go? Yeah. That Vanquish right there will now top 201 uh, miles okay. an hour. And that two is a big deal. So for driving around Hollywood, you know, that's, 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 exactly. that's a good thing. You can thing. use like okay. an eighth of that. So Lauren, what, what's hot at the show? What, what are the trends? Well, for me, it's performance. When I started here on Monday, the first car I got to see was the brand new Shelby GT350. Right. Now for me, I own Shelby's, I restore Shelby's, but what's great, this vehicle is all new design. They're thinking they're gonna call it a 2016, but the fact that it's a GT350 in honor of Carol Shelby, who's no longer with us, right. was great. But really cool, 500 plus horsepower, all aluminum front end. That means from the A-pillar, which is where the windshield is forward, right. is right. aluminum. LED lights, racing seats, real racing seats in the streetcar, I'm in. So Alan, what are you seeing at the show? What's, what are the new trends? Well, it seems like everybody's interested in the connected car. As you know, everybody's got a lot of technology to offer, mm -hmm. but Jaguar says, you know what? We want to put a six-speed back into our sports car. Now, they haven't done that since the E-Type. Mm -hmm. So now you can buy the Jaguar F-Type with a V6 with a six-speed manual transmission. So they're saying with all the technology, it's great, but we don't want to forget our heritage of a, a true sports car. So going back to basics. They're going back to basics. They're unconnecting they're, the car. Well, but it's still connected, <laughs> but you have the ability to, the to still be able to have some fun behind the wheel and not forget, I want to change gears. I want to be connected to my car, not connected to the world. I want to unconnect from the world for a minute and really drive the car. So I love the fact that some of the automakers still remember their origin, which is fun of driving. Tell us about Porsche. What is the spirit of Porsche? The spirit of Porsche to me is family. So we have Dr. Porsche that started in the late 1800s, and then after World War II, his son invents Porsche as a car company. And since then, the designer was F.A. He was responsible for the 904, he was responsible for the 911. So when you look at even, you know, Panamera or the 918 behind us, it all comes from one single starting point that you could trace the lineage right. back. So today we've looked at all the greatest, wild, and newest things at the LA Auto Show. This is something a little bit different. It's a movie called Where They Raced, made by Harry Pallenberg here. And it tells the story of all the great racetracks and racers who raced in Los Angeles, as Los Angeles was developing as a city and as a car town. So Harry, what was the uh, inspiration to make the movie? Well, I worked at uh, PBS with Bill Hauser, and we did a show on a uh, half-hour show on the Corona Road Races, which took place in the early teens, based on a book called Where They Raced by Harold Osmer. And uh, every year I would call Harold and tell him that the show's going to air again. And every year he would say, so and so has just passed away, or such racetrack has just been paved over. So Harold and I decided we had to just grab a camera and start recording some of this before it disappears. Yeah. So on and off over you know, 10 years, we sort of shot little uh -huh. bits and pieces you know, when we could. It wasn't you know, sort of nights and weekends, and then we take six months off. Right. And uh, you know, finally we got it. And it was just awesome getting to bring back some of the old cars to where they used to race like this beautiful car here. We took it back to Legion Ascot and took a lap around Legion Ascot. You know, hadn't been there for over 85 years. I was told, by the way, yesterday that this car was the fastest Ford in the world That's, in 1926. Yes, <laughs> I believe it is uh, the fastest Model T back then. Okay. And it definitely beat all the, the front necks, which were built by the, the Chevrolet brothers. And, and hearing it fire up, we, uh, you know, some of the neighbors came running out and most of the neighbors were really excited. And they were like, oh yeah, my grandfather told me there used to be a track here. You know, one lady was like, I'm calling the police, this is way too loud, because it is loud. Very loud? Yes. What? So do you mind if I could maybe just sit in the car for a moment or two? I happen to have the keys to all the cars here. 
What a great day. We've seen incredible cars on the cutting edge of technology. We've seen hybrids, we've seen high performance cars, Aston Martins, Ferraris, Porsches. And by the way, that movie, Where They Raced, can be seen on Motorland.tv or just search it on Hulu, you'll find it. So today proved unequivocally, LA is a car town, has always been a car town, and I guess will always be a car town. A great day. Thanks, LA. We need you to come out. I'm not Some coming other people out. want to sit in it. No, I'm staying here. The show runs for another 11 days. You can't stay in there the whole time. I'm staying here.